Liam, it's ended 2 0 to Tranmere Rovers. They've got an early goal and just a killer blow on the stroke at half time. They've got a second, and um, but in the end, you must be proud of the team's performance in it. Yeah, this is, I, if I was going to sit here and criticise the players, I, you know, I'm not being honest, not being fair, not being genuine. I'm proud of the club today. You know, it's a great occasion for us all. You know, see here, you have packed out, it's something I've never seen before. Uh, I don't know whether you are, because you're younger than me. So, uh, it doesn't look it like that. Uh, I thought we showed too much respect the first 20-25 minutes. Um, and then we showed a little bit of naivety in the last five minutes of the second half, where we got caught up the field and ended up conceding the goal. I think 1-0 going into the second half with the wind, it's all games all on. Then Liam Edwards had a great chance to make it. 2-1 and then we, we'd had another chance right on half time with uh, the ricochet from the, the set piece but you know I think the amount of balls we put in the box we asked a lot of questions of them uh, fair place to try I thought they defended really well uh, but I think if we'd have had that amount of ball in that much area in our league I think we score. Do you think there was just a little bit of Tramia just experienced team and they just maybe got out of the blocks and steadied it down the first 10 minutes and, and they managed to set the tempo from that? Yeah without a doubt so, so, you know, I said when I first come back, I wanted to build a young side. Uh, the average age of the squad at Norm is 22, which tells you how young it is. That might be too young. You know, you normally say 20 to 24 is where you, where you should be aiming for. But like we've gone 22 and we're back to, and you know, as I said, unfortunately, like a little bit of inexperience. But we were a little bit you know, rabbit in the headlights for me in the first 20, 25 minutes, and you don't want to be yelling on, you know, leave. Your Flatter someone, or you know, be physical, or whatever. You're trying to get them to do the right ways. They've got to learn themselves. They've got to play on the front foot. Uh, you only have to look at the way Liverpool played on Saturday. Everything was on Sunday. Everything was on the front foot, and Man United you know, couldn't handle them. So, you know, it's, it's a massive part of the game now. If you look at the context of the season, the FA Cup's been a real lift, and it, it's been a bit of a catalyst, maybe in some respects. To and it's been it's been a good ride for us. Yeah, it's been a great ride. Uh, we've enjoyed it. I said, just said on an interview there, you know, we could have easily gone out to Ashton United, who got, you know, gone down to 10 men, then they score an equaliser, and then I remember looking at the up, up at the clock and thinking, 63 minutes, wow, this is going to be a long afternoon. We've got through that, you know, and you know, from there on, we, the Boreham Wood win, the Tranmere Net, the, the live game here, the full house, yeah, it's been incredible. A lot of money generated, uh, which is which is good. And, and the one thing I will say about this whole little game, this little run. Actually, to me, it feels like we've pulled the club back together. In terms of we look forward now, is it important to pick the lads up and go again? We've got Lancashire Cup on Wednesday against Garstang and then Ashton United in a, in a, in a big match on Saturday. Yeah, both big matches. Next one's obviously the Garstang match. And I said, anyone will know, know me. We want to win that competition. You know, we've set our stall out to win it. Every game we've played, we've put a strong side out. And Wednesday will be no different. We want to go to Garstang, win the game, get to the semi final. County FA ground where we've got Ashton Athletic uh, and then we want to get there we want to get to the Macron and, and play the final so you know it'll be all out and then obviously Ashton you know we've got to deal with that after we'll have a conversation about Ashton after, after the Garstang game uh, but you know, like I said we're looking at the squad you, you, Liam Davis can play on, on Wednesday he's been cup tied you know, there's people who haven't played since Saturday uh, so you know, look forward to Bump back down to earth, should I say. Thank you very much, mate. Thanks.